What up, food tubers? Okay, very exciting. We're gonna cook a beautiful summer spaghetti of tomatoes and chilies and olives and basil. But that's actually not the real reason that I'm doing this video. This video is about how can we get you guys to enter your recipes into the food tube search for a food tube star competition with Uncle Ben. Uh, there's tips from myself and the rest of the gang on how you can be the best kind of maker of food videos. This one, we're gonna just cook. And it's just kind of little tips on kind of what the camera sees and how you can work with the camera. Come here, come, come here, camera. The camera's your camera, but also we're talking to you at home. Some of the uh, filming tips that I think of when I'm cooking. You with me? Okay, let's begin. So when you're ready to film, get your stuff ready, get organized. I've got all my ingredients out, I've got my water boiling, I've got my pan ready and raring to go. Anything that you need to see, you know, you've got to sort of make sure you do see. Either if you're filming it yourself, hold it up, or if you're using a cameraman like we are, or a friend, you know, just favour it up to them. So spaghetti goes in. I'm going to twist it like that, pan. Always season our water. It's your job, and we're talking technical now, to sort of explain, you know, what you have around you or what you're excited about. So, you know, I've grown these, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, also, it's quite nice to talk, talk about the fact that there's so many different variations of tomato. It's not just a standard red, boring one. This, this one's a Guernsey milk one. So Guernsey milk, it's got very, it's very buttery. I think close-ups are really important. Now, whether you're filming it yourself on, a, on an iPhone or something, you can get it down and literally I just put my iPhone there like that, filming what I'm doing. It doesn't matter that you can't see me. In actual fact, I prefer it. And we're gonna get right in there and get as close as he can. I'll bring the, the tomato to the same place every time. So get those close-ups. Because remember, it's, it's the close-ups that are telling the story of food. I mean, at the end of the day, the most important ingredient that you can put in is your passion and a good, simple recipe. Things that are dynamic, things that need grilling, things that pan fry, things that get tossed and shaved and beaten and pounded, that's very, very sort of visual and people understand that. Think about the dish you're gonna choose um, for your audience. Um, and I think if you can do something that's fast and tasty, you're on to a winner. If you're making a video to be put up on FoodTube, or YouTube, it's up to you as the cook to ask the cameraman, you know, to kind of follow it in the way you want it, okay? Also notice that when I'm slicing, I'm slicing favoring the cameraman. If I chop it like this, you can't see nothing, yeah? If I chop it like this, right, you can see everything, okay? So when you're, you know, for the cooks, you know, there's no point in you kind of spooning stuff towards you, because all, all you do is get the back of a spoon. You have to slightly oddly spoon away from you. Pan hot, olive oil's gone in. I'm gonna go in with my fragrant things here. It's really nice to get the camera in there for close-ups, but also sometimes it's really nice to toss that right in the camera's face as well. Smell and taste you can't get. So describing what's happening, like, look, the garlic's getting really crisp. It smells amazing. Those herbs are really, really beautiful. I'm gonna pick up these tomatoes now. I can offer it up to the camera. I can then take it down. Um, I might squeeze in a little lemon juice and that and the oil and a pinch of salt will be gorgeous. Gorgeous, moist, delicious pork. Clean and juicy inside, but notice here, it's gnarly. So if there's any important tips you know, like the stuff that you don't mention but you know about. So, you know, you don't just drain the pasta, it's the pasta water, you know, and the oil that kind of makes the sort of pasta silky and gorgeous. So you can't forget to tell them that. So we're just gonna toss this up. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, you haven't gotta be a chef to be valid, you know, as a sort of authority. You just have to be passionate and look like you've made it a thousand times, and you should have, you know. So, like, if you're sort of struggling to do anything, that looks really weak. If you're rubbish and you're just like clank, 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 but I don't care, that's cool, you know? So just go with it. I'm gonna plate this dish up here. If you've got a little background like this, you know, you can just plate that up like that. A nice, beautiful platter of summer spaghetti with greenhouse tomatoes and all the trimmings. Simplicity itself. And at this stage, guys, 
it's worth kind of thinking about your thumbnail. Your thumbnail that you're gonna put up on FoodTube that represents the dish. It could be you holding some raw ingredients like this. Click, you know. You can use a screen grab from filming, but often they're not great. So always get a still as well. So good luck. Remember good close-ups. Remember work to the camera. All right guys, lots of love and good luck. And if you wanna look for any of the details for the fine new FoodTube talent competition with Uncle Ben's, click in the details below. And there's a whole load of other videos as well that will help you hopefully be the very best that you can be. Take care.